so scared that we're reading Heart of Darkness and it's all my fault. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. In all actuality, though, I'm not scared that we're reading Heart of Darkness. I think it's a wonderful text. Let me check that camera angle. Perfect. Howdy. What I am scared about, though, is what's discussed in Heart of Darkness. These sort of topics that Conrad dives into don't just deal with the darkness of our civilization, but also with this, the darkness of our own hearts. So here's a little overview of what's been covered. Uh, in case you didn't notice by now, we're kind of dealing with a frame story. So those of you at home, go ahead and take out some notes, close Facebook, Instagram, all those things. Give me 10 minutes of your attention. It'll be very beneficial to you. So here you have your frame story, right? And I know you've studied these before all the time. In the middle of your frame, you have Marlowe, right? And on the outside, you have the narrator. And you should be able to tell by the fact that the narrator is not named, that he's not as important as Marlowe. This is our key story here. So where we got in our text today is diving into Marlowe's story. Okay, so what's the first words that Marlowe says? And so this also is one's a place of darkness, right? Or so this also is one of the Earth's dark places. And the this that he's referring to is England, right? They're on the Thames River. Now, we've already discussed this a little bit in some of the classes. But sitting there on the Thames, any one of those slidey, uh, slidey things. I don't know what they're called. Whatever. One of those yeah, whiteboards. Okay, whatever. Ten minutes. All right, so they're sitting there on the Thames. Here's England, right? Thames River. They're sitting here, and he's saying this is one of the dark places. Because before the Romans were there, it was not, quote-unquote, civilized. So here you have... Romans, right? Romans civilizing it. And here you have the continent of Africa. Oh, that's bad. That's real bad. Oh, I'm sorry. My apologies to the entirety of that continent. You have Africa, though, and it's being civilized by all of Europe. Europe, right? Specifically, that Congo. That Belgian Congo that we have where our story takes place. So this right here is what we call a parallel. Right between the Thames in England where the Romans civilized and the democratic, oh no, I'm sorry, that's what it's called now. The Belgian Congo in Africa where the Europeans civilized. Okay, so we got that much so far. So what is he talking about? Why is it that there's two millennia separating this? Well, there's a couple of theories to that. The main theory in why certain peoples have risen up over others is that they had guns after the gun was invented, they had less germs, and they had more steel, right? It's really not a matter of innovation as much as chance and luck uh, as to where they were. So the fact that the Romans were able to conquer England or that the Europeans were able to go in and colonize Africa really was to do with firepower, the ability to build quickly, and the ability to bring germs to people and kill them off. Um, so that's in what Conrad's talking about when he says we go and we conquer these people because they have a different skin complexion or they have a different... Uh, a flatter nose than we have. And in the whole entirety of this, we bear. Sorry, checking my battery. Oh no, battery's going down. <laughs> All right, gotta speed it up. <laughs> Ran into a desk. We bear a torch, right? A torch. Yes, we bear a torch in the entirety. And what is the torch? That is the question you need to ask yourselves. What is that torch? Okay, so we got our frame story. We're now going to break.